Now we will discuss about enthalpy change and entropy change for adsorption process. Right. So enthalpy change denoted by delta H and entropy change denoted by delta S. So let's see what is delta H and delta S for adsorption process. Right for adsorption. We know that in adsorption the adsorbate molecules get adsorbed on the adsorbent right this is your adsorbent right and these are your adsorbate molecules gas molecules say right and since this process right involves attractive interactions right the molecules of gas get attracted to the surface right since this is an attract this process involves attractive interactions and whenever we have attractive interactions heat is evolved right and we know that there are two types of adsorption first is your physisorption right and second is your chemisorption chemisorption we know is when a chemical bond gets formed between adsorbate and adsorbent adsorbent right for example the example of this reaction is hydrogen gas get adsorbed on nickel right on the surface of nickel metal because it forms bond between nitro uh, sorry a bond is formed between hydrogen and nickel right and a compound hydride is formed right if we have this nickel right nickel surface right on it hydrogen gas will get adsorbed right and since chemisorption results into the formation of bond between nickel and hydrogen right like this a bond is formed between nickel and hydrogen that is between adsorbent and adsorbate and we know that whenever a bond is formed energy is released right since adsorption involves making of bond right so energy is released right since energy is released so we say adsorption is an exothermic process right adsorption is exothermic process because it involves making of bond when a bond and when a bond is made energy is released so this is an exothermic process similarly physical adsorption is also due to attractive interactions and whenever we have attractive interactions energy is released so this is your both physical adsorption and chemical adsorption both are your exothermic in nature right and we have a term here the amount of heat evolved when one mole of adsorbate get adsorbed on the surface right when one mole one mole of adsorbate get adsorbed on the surface then the heat, then some amount of heat would be evolved right so the heat evolved the amount of heat evolved here it would be called as molar heat of adsorption right so adsorption when one mole of adsorbate gets adsorbed on the surface the amount of heat the amount of heat evolved is your molar molar heat of adsorption we call it as molar heat of adsorption right molar heat of adsorption there is one more explanation to it since we know that this is surface right and this is your surface area right and this surface this surface has surface energy due to surface area right and when your adsorption takes place this surface area right will get reduced right 
due to which surface energy will become less or surface and energy will decrease right and this surface energy which is decreased will appear in the form of heat energy right so surface energy will decrease right during adsorption right which evolve which evolves in the form of heat right why it involves in the form of heat because since we said that this is surface right and it it it's the surface have a surface area right every surface has a surface area so when adsorption takes place the surface area will decrease because of the adsorbed gas when surface area will decrease right the surface energy will also decrease because surface energy is due to surface area and since surface energy is decreasing i said this energy will will evolve in the form of heat why because we know that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed right but can be changed from one form to another here surface energy due to this law of conservation of energy the surface energy will change into heat energy so again this is your exothermic process right now let's talk about entropy entropy denoted by delta s right since on if this is a surface your gas gets adsorbed right and we have attractive interactions due to these attractive interactions the gas would get adsorbed right would be attracted on the surface right due to which now it is not able to move right so degree of randomness is is decreased right or we say the gas molecules are now held on the surface right due to which they are unable to move right so degree of randomness has decreased due to which delta s is your delta s is negative right delta s is negative and since we said that adsorption is an exothermic process now we know that for every exothermic process delta h is negative right so delta h is also negative for an exothermic process right now this adsorption takes place itself when we say takes place itself it means if you place a surface metal surface in air it will itself start adsorbing gases gases will start getting adsorbed on the surface of metal that is it is taking place itself right that is when a process takes place itself we call it a spontaneous process right so adsorption is a spontaneous process and we know that as per thermodynamics for every spontaneous process free energy change is your negative right since adsorption is spontaneous process right because it takes place itself take place spontaneously therefore delta g is your negative right for adsorption delta g is negative now if we why if we go if we go by the relation gibbs helmholtz equation gibbs helmholtz equation says delta g is equals to delta h minus t delta s right so initially we have delta h as negative and delta s is also negative if delta s is negative right then this will become positive right if this is negative then this will become positive now for delta g to be negative then delta h should be negative and should be higher in magnitude than t delta s therefore for delta g to be negative delta h should be greater than t delta s and should be negative right delta h should be negative and greater than t delta s right for delta g to be negative right and this is true initially right so delta h as the process will continue we said delta h is greater than t delta s right so as the process of adsorption will continue this delta h will decrease right and delta s will increase delta h will decrease and delta s will increase and at one point both these will become equal 
at that point delta g will become zero right and at that point when delta g will become zero we say that adsorption has adsorption has acquired equilibrium right so adsorption is a is an equilibrium process we say right so as adsorption proceeds delta h will decrease and t delta s will increase right and at one point delta h will become equal to t delta s right then when both these will become equal delta g will be zero right at this point adsorption is at equilibrium right when we say adsorption it has is at equilibrium we mean that adsorption is not taking place right it has reached the stage of equilibrium and at equilibrium the rate of adsorption on the metal right on or on any on the surface the rate of adsorption of gas is equal to the rate of desorption right when we say the rate of desorption we mean the rate at which the rate at which this gas will leave this surface right so at equilibrium the rate of gas getting attracted to the metal surface is equal to the rate at which the gas is leaving the metal surface right so rate of adsorption is equals to rate of desorption right we know desorption is reverse of adsorption so this is it with thermodynamics of your process adsorption and thermodynamics involves enthalpy change and entropy change right so delta h is negative i repeat because the process of adsorption is negative because adsorption is due to attractive interactions and both in case of physisorption and chemisorption we know attractive interactions are involved right so since attractive interaction will involve will evolve heat right because we know that when a bond is formed in chemisorption whenever a bond is formed heat is evolved so heat is evolved it is exothermic delta h is negative similarly physisorption is also due to attractive interactions for which delta h would be negative because it's again exothermic right and delta s is negative because these are attractive interactions the degree of randomness has increased has decreased i'm sorry degree of randomness has decreased that means delta s will be negative entropy will decrease right so delta s is negative now since adsorption is an exo is a spontaneous process so delta g should be negative so as per gibbs helmholtz equation for delta g to be negative delta h right delta h should be greater than t delta s because we know that delta s is negative this will positive so for delta g to be negative delta h should be greater than t delta s and should be negative in sign right so initially this is true but as the time progresses delta t s will increase right this delta h will decrease and t delta s will decrease right and at one point both will become equal and at that point delta g will become zero right so adsorption at has attained state of equilibrium and at equilibrium no adsorption is taking place so and at equilibrium the rate at which gases are getting adsorbed is equal to the rate at which they are leaving the surface right so this is it when enthalpy and entropy change of adsorption i hope all this is clear to you thanks